My name is Laura Murfin. I am the creator of Cross 7 and today I wanted to show you a tutorial of one of our features. The new feature of flashcards. I have been working hard on this. I got the idea from one of the subscribers who was giving recommendations to families within the Facebook page. Um, I just wanted to show you cycle one. It's really easy. I've logged in as Henry, which you can do that through the parent dashboard, but I've already done that. And to just add flashcards to each of your boxes, uh, usually you would start with box one and review those every day. You just go to edit, you click on add new, and then you can select. I've got um, all of these subjects right here ready to go. So these nine up here do not have all the video and audio and all of that but these do so it depends on if you want just a clean front and back card um, I'll show you uh, what our history looks like you come here and you can add into box one if you've been uh, working on the first three weeks just add those to box one and once you've added the ones you want you can click here and we see, okay, they are here, so I don't need to edit anymore. And then here we are. Week one, creation and earliest people. For ch children who uh, need audio help, we've got a little button where they can hear that. Creation and the earliest people. And then we can turn that card, and if they knew what that sentence was, they can read it off of here and test themselves. If they can't quite remember the song, they can click on this video link and this uh, video will pop Week up one. and they can hear the song. Then if they also want to review a little more, they can click on this link to quiz. A new window will pop up to history, cycle one, week one, and all of our quizzes will be there. It will be tracked because you will see that you were logged in as Henry. And if you did happen to know week one, you would hit correct, which would place this card into box number two. If you don't know it yet, you hit the orange button that says wrong, and it'll place it back into box one. So week two, unification of Upper and Lower Egypt. I can hear it here. Unification of Upper and Lower Egypt. I can click it here and oh yes, I remember that what that was. So I'm going to hit correct. And you can come back and edit any time you want. You can add cards to any box that you want. So if you think, oh, I already know uh, scripture week. Uh, I like to do the video enhanced cards. I already know that one fairly well. I'm only going to review it every other day. You can just automatically put that one into your every other day box. Here is box five, which you can decide like once every other month if you like. But as you can see, the boxes, uh, you'll have different numbers of cards in each box as you review. You can do this, uh, you need to do it every day for box one. Every other day you do box one and box two, and then you can do box one and box three once a week for the box three. And that way you can ensure that you're really uh, remembering the memory work and this is based off the Leitner system which is used to enhance memory retrieval through space repetition and I've just found this to be a super helpful tool and I, I really appreciate the parent who uh, told us about this system that they use in their co-op. One really nice thing about this is if you want a different student to have a different set of cards in their box. You just switch, you can go to your parent dashboard and switch to another child. So we can log in Toby and we can go to the flashcards and load Toby's box. And we can see that he doesn't have anything in his box yet, but this will remember each student individually.